Clay Thompson defended himself against Charles Barkley's claim that he was slipping. Ezra Shaw slash Getty Images Clay Thompson is going through it right now. After his surprising ejection on Tuesday night, he was on the receiving end of maybe the worst thing for a proud star athlete, Biddy. Phoenix Suns guard Devin Booker, who Thompson chirped all night, said that the Warriors guard was having a tough night. It's been more like a tough three years for Thompson, who missed two full years with severe injuries and has still been finding his way back since returning last January. DNT's Charles Barkley said the somewhat obvious after Tuesday night's loss to the Suns, Thompson, and Raymond Green, were clearly past their primes. Barkley said the pair were slipping, although not finished. When I watch the Warriors play, I say oh man, father time is knocking on the door of a couple of those guys, Barkley said. I think you saw tonight Hess like this young boy is kicking my ass, ain't nothing I can do about it. There was a time when Clay Thompson was the best two-way guard in the NBA and Hess not the same guy and that's because of injuries. Is he done? No, I don't think Hess done. I think Hess slowing down and it's catching up with him. That's why Hess frustrated. Those comments got back to Thompson, who was coming off his best game of the young season Thursday night. He had 19 points in 29 minutes in the Warriors' 123-110 win over the Heat. He was genuinely emotional when discussing Barkley's comments, saying they hurt my heart. Here's his response in full, someone like Charles Barkley, with the platform he has, says you're not the same player prior to the injuries you had. It's like, no duh, man. I tore my ACL and Achilles in consecutive years and I still helped a team win a championship, Thompson said. It hurt hearing that cause it's like, man, I put in so much freaking effort to get back to this point. It's hard to put into words what I had to do to be the player I am today. I played 57 games in three years, give me some frickin' time to get that back. 2. Hear someone say, oh, he's not the same as he was prior to the injuries, like, duh. Who goes through something like that and comes back, I don't know, it just hurt my heart hearing that. But you know what, I'm going to internalize it, and it's gonna be fuel for me to be even better. And I'm very proud of what we accomplished last year, and I feel like I was a huge part of it. So I'm not gonna let these injuries be a crutch for me. I'm gonna keep going and have a great year. Bet on that.